uh, out, out there getting the uh, stuff out the car, bringing the stuff in from, from the car, just now God was just reminding me of the, some of the churches in Africa that all they have, some of them is all they have is a roof with no walls. And it'll rain, and it'll snow, it'll do whatever it does. And they after the elements, they still all come to church. Amen. Mm. He reminded me of, of how uh, one pastor was telling me they have to pray three hours prior to service to pray the demons away mm. so they can have service. Mm. And we, uh, so we were supporting a church that had a roof but no walls and we raised money to get a wall built. One wall of four get built and they rejoiced like they received a million dollars. Hallelujah. And it just reminds this reminded me of, of how we as the as 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 Americans uh, have everything we need and it's still still not enough. Amen. And we got everything we need and we're still not satisfied. Hallelujah. Yep. If you have your Bible, you turn to the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, pick up at verse number 10. Jeremiah 29, pick up at verse number 10. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, uh, God is uh, trying to help me with the fact that uh, what I have is not mine. Anytime he needs it. He knows I can, he knows I'll give it away. Because I know whatever I need, he's he going to supply my needs. Amen. 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 Jeremiah 29, pick up the verse number 10. Get, get that signified by saying word. Word. And stand to your feet. Amen. It says, for thus saith the Lord, after seven years be accomplished in Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word towards you. And cause you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations, from all the places where I have driven you, saith the Lord, and I will bring you again into the place once I cause you to be carried away captive. Amen? Amen. You may be seated. A uh, message today that is entitled, God's Plan is at Work. God's plan is at work. Let us pray. Father, thank you, Father God, today for your grace, your mercy, and your love. You have been, Father God, so, so, so good to us. No matter the trials, no matter the tests, no matter the obstacles, oh Lord. You have been there for us even when we thought you were not there. So, Father God, speak to us, O oh God, through your word today, and we honor you, and we thank you, and we give you glory, O oh God. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. God's plan is at work. Amen. The plan of God is at work all around us. And we have to join him in what he is doing. Amen. God is building something here in Hardin County and the surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the landscape, you can see all kinds of building projects going up all around us. Yeah. Back holes and, and bulldozers and uh, buildings being framed, trees being knocked down, areas being cleared out. And we, the body of Christ, 
and all those he's calling into this area must join him in what he's doing. Amen. 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 Now, if you look through the eyes of, of the Spirit, you can see God is building more than what the eyes can see. Amen. Amen. He is after more than man realizes. Amen. And it's no coincidence uh, that St. Stephen's and Southeast Christian Center, Sevens Valley, uh, uh, E-Town Christian Church, and many of the larger churches are either moving in here or are in large building programs. Yes, yes, yes. Ain't no coincidence. Yes. All of them building doing something. Yes, yes. God is on the move. Yes. And his plan uh, is at work. Yes. Amen. Yes. Something big yes. is about to jump off here. Amen. I don't know the timing of it, yes. but in the natural yes. you can yes. see it. Yeah. And by the Spirit, you can discern it. Yeah. Yeah. Understand that God is preparing this area for whatever He has plans for. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Small churches like ours are popping up all over the place. Amen. Amen. And as we continue to join God in what He's doing, no matter the test, no matter the trial, no matter the obstacles that get in your way, trust the Lord to make a way out of no way. Because in the end, it will all work out in your favor. Hallelujah. It's going to work out in your favor. Yeah, you're being tested. Yeah, you're being tried. But it's going to work out in your favor. You trust Him. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, souls are being saved. Yeah. And lives are being changed. Yeah. Yeah. And it don't matter if it's one at a time. It don't matter if it's two at a time. Yeah. But one can put a thousand to flight. Yeah. Yeah. And two can put ten thousand yeah. to flight. Yeah. 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 We cannot underestimate what God is doing yeah. in your life. Right. And you choking on this thing what God's doing in somebody else's life. Amen. 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 People are moving here from all over the place for all kinds of reasons. Yeah. And I believe God is sending them here. Amen. Something is about to pop off and it's more than revival. Amen. It's more than restoration. Amen. It's more than renewal. I believe it's a spiritual revolution. Oh, yes. Yes. There is an awakening, mm -hmm. a spiritual revolution, 100 years in the making. Oh, yeah. Y'all need to understand me. Y'all need to hear me now. Jesus. Mm. That this thing we've stepped off into been 100 years yeah. in the making. Mm -hmm. Fort Knox is celebrating 100 years yes. in existence. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Fort Knox is celebrating 100 years. In its current site, sites of existence. Mm -hmm. But it has been in use since the Civil War mm -hmm. back in 1861. Mm -hmm. Now, you hear me tonight? Mm -hmm. See, even back in 1861, we were in God's plan to be here. Amen. Amen. 157 years is not a long time to God. Amen. Amen. I told you all a few months ago that when they built this building, we was in the plan on being here. Amen. Oh, they didn't know it, but God knew it. Amen. God knew, see, God knew that it was building this building for us to be in here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And 157 years is not a long time to God. His plan start off in eternity. Well, Amen. So don't think it's strange that you are here today and hearing this message. God has been waiting on you to get here. Amen. And everything you need to get done, what he has planned for you is already here. He, Y'all hear me? He done put everything that you need already in place. He waiting on you to get here. The stuff you need is already here. He been waiting on you. God ain't short on nothing. Amen. His supply cabinet ain't never empty. Oh, Amen. Amen. Ask and it shall be given. Yeah. Seek and ye shall find. Yeah. Knock and the door yeah. shall be open. 
heaven. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. All the silver, all the gold. The cattle on a thousand hills. And like the folk, old folks say, and the taters under them hills. All right now. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Yes, you, you, can, come on, you can go from Knox Boulevard to the courthouse sitting in the middle of E-Town. Amen. You can go from there to there and it car lots everywhere. You need a car? Mm -hmm. Right, right down there street you see all the cars for sale down there. Amen. You gonna tell me God can't get you a car? Yeah. Right. Mm. Go right that same distance and see all the help wanted signs out there. You tell me you need a job? All right. mm. Come on now. Amen. No matter where you are at in the earth hearing this message. Amen. Amen. Recognize where God is working. And join him in what he's doing. Amen. Amen. I don't care what all YouTube, Facebook, yeah. Instagram, yeah. I, it don't matter. Look. Twitter, no matter what you hear this message that in the earth, God is at work around you. Amen. Yeah. Everybody in this room, God's at work around you. Some stuff yeah. going on right around yeah. your feet yeah. that yeah. God has already been doing. Yeah. You just gotta make up your mind, you're gonna do what God said, do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We were ready kicking gold and kicking diamonds. I'm like, I don't want none of that. Because you got to bend over to pick it up. Mm. 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 Wow. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. <coughs> oh, Jesus. As he works around us, we have to go to him and get with him. Yes. He is after a relationship with us, yes. and he wants us to get involved in what he is doing. Yes. Understand that he speaks to us by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah. He speaks to he speaks to us by the Bible yes. in prayer yes. through our circumstances yes. and the church yes. to reveal himself, his purposes, and his ways. Yes. Amen. 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 Now understand now, this will lead you to a belief crisis. Mm. It'll lead you to a crossroads. Mm. That will take faith and action. Yes. There will be major adjustments that will have to be made in your life. Yes. It will not only affect you, but it will affect everybody around you. Yes, Glory to God. This is the part that makes a lot of people go back to their old lifestyle. Because mm. we don't want to make them adjustments. We won't make them change. We don't want to stop seeing wet Willie and nasty Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> those changes, those major adjustments, because God will work with you and through you. Yes. And he will all work out for you in the yes. end. Hallelujah, Hear me now. See, I ain't saying that you ain't going to go through nothing. That's right. right. Because you will. Amen. But the thing is, he'll go through it with you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You, yeah. you, if it's going to storm, he'll get your umbrella. Yeah. Amen. Glory. He, he may not make it start raining, he'll give you something to go through the rain with. Y'all yeah. yeah. don't hear me. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to go through. Yeah. But you got to go through to get through. Amen. And that's why we struggle with, we struggle with going through. Amen. Amen. To get through. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I'll go through to make it stop raining. Now grab an umbrella and laying over. Amen. Y'all hear me? Amen. The snow comes and go a coat and, and some boots, gloves, and a hat. Get on up through. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and then, 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 then if you need to, he got you a show. Amen. 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 Y'all hear me? Yes, Amen. Look out there and it's I can't get out my driveway. Well, you got a shovel, boots. Hat, coat, gloves. Sure. Go work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, that, that, we understand. See, we, we understand. See, we won't, we had no gas. God said, look in that drawer over in the bottom, over in the back, there's a roll of quarters over there. Amen. Y'all hear me? 
Mm -hmm. Ten right, dollars. Yes. It'll get you, it'll get you to work. Amen. What about getting home? Just get there. Right. Well, we want to, we want to get there and get back before we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. He, he just said go. Right. Now, when you get to work, somebody tell you, well, I don't know, I don't know what this is, but God told me to give this to you. Amen. Amen. And hand you an envelope with three hundred dollars in it. See, 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 see. But you didn't want to take that roll of quarters well, to the gas station. All right, love. Well, I'll come shoot. You all muchy much. <laughs> you pull up in that Jaguar. It's three payments late. Mm. Okay. Mm. With a roll of quarters. Mm. With your fine set. Mm. All right, man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I can't go in there. It's Speedway, baby. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> what you? That joke is Speedway. Love to get, to, to get that roll of quarters. That's our power. Yeah. Amen. We worry about our appearance, our appearances before a man. Oh, we want to look good in front of our coworkers. Mm. And they got less than what you got. Right. You ain't got nothing. They got less than what you got. Wow. They, they just got the eviction notice. Mm. They got to move tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You three, three months made on your car payment. Mm -hmm. And y'all trying to look good in front of each other. Right. Mm -hmm. One great lose the car, the other lose the house. Mm -hmm. but, but we fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, Can't eat bad lunch. <laughs> I'm fasting today. <laughs> oh man. We ain't fasting in five years, y'all. Okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. They don't hear me. Amen. Mm -mm. But see, God's at work. Amen. Yes, Amen. Take the quarters. Yeah. Go get them three gallons of gas. Right. Go to your desk. Here comes sister that don't even like you. Mm -hmm. oh. wow. And when she come around the corner, you, you, you got your guard up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. God told me to give it to you. See. And you snatched it from her. Oh. Wow. Mm. What is this anyway? Mm. Rip it open. Upset, he back in the uh, uh, the green room right there. 
uh, tear us up, all that thing, he can't afford to tear a paper cup stick. <laughs> 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 Thirty-four hours worth of stuff. <laughs> 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 he ain't getting all his old dead, knocking all the cups and paper towels. <laughs> and, 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 and did he come teach him, brother, 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 sister, brother, come here, come here, come here, come here. You don't understand. My mother died. And that made ten million dollars. Mm -mm. Amen. And God told me to give. Come to this. Five star, whoever give me that hundred dollar bill, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to give mm -hmm. them fifty thousand dollars. Oh, oh now look at God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See y'all. See y'all. See, 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 yeah. see, see, see y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Do it just like that. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand? Yeah. I see. 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 Mm -hmm. It all started with a roll of quarters. Amen. Yeah. For sure wow. did. Yeah. Yeah. But God is at work around you. He just trying to get stuff. To you and get it what? Through, Through you. Yes, God. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. We be in our own way. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Have mercy. Mm. Y'all understand. Mm. See, not saying that you won't go through something, cause you will. See, you thought being three months behind on that Jaguar payment that you got to turn that car in. Well, see, but God got a way. Yes, he does. Y'all didn't hear me today. Yes, he does. He got a way of getting to you everything you need. If he got to bring it from Spain. See, there's somebody struggling right now with obeying God, and they got their blessing in, in their hand, got your blessing in their hand, and they're struggling with obeying God. So it's like you struggling with obeying God with somebody else's blessing. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I talk with every day, day. We ain't even, I know everything, there's something wrong with me. I'm talking to about it. Oh. They be like, man, stop talking, man. Stop, stop, stop talking. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking, man. I'm, 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 man, look, I'm going in the back. Stop talking. I'm <laughs> 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 right on back. <laughs> right? <laughs> but I believe, no, but you gotta, you gotta understand. See, see, not as a son, but as a, as a little brother. Amen. I'm looking yeah. at him as knowing what you know. I know what I've been through. I'm trying to pour into him because yes. I don't know how long he's gonna be with me. Amen. 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 Yeah. I don't know how long God will keep me here. Right. Amen. He may, he, may, he, may, he may have me go to Africa. I don't know. Amen. That's what it looking like. Amen. Looking like Africa. Amen. Amen. I'm like, um, <laughs> since since Ryan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. He wanted a bus. Okay. Don't send me, God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, 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 see. But God is at work. And what the thing is that when He's sending you to go through something, He's gonna go through it with you. Amen. 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 He's gonna walk with you. Yeah. He's gonna lead. And guide you, yeah. show you the way. He's gonna use His word yeah. to light up the pathway. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. And see, while we're trying to figure it out, mm. God had already worked it out. Hallelujah. Why you think ah. you're going through what you're going through? God got something He's gonna try to do with you and through you. Yeah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yes, see, Lord. see, and, and and the problem most of us is that we get in our own way. Amen. 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 Glory to God. We have a hard time getting out of our own way. Yeah. Amen. 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 When, he, when the guy told me about the house, uh, and then he took me by there, and I walked up through there, and I'm looking around. I'm like, man, you know, everything's kind of not really where I wanted it to be. Amen. But I'm in prayer yesterday, and God showed me where everything is going to work out. Who goes in that room? Who goes in that room? Who goes in that room? Where you going to be? How you going to get all this done? And he just showed me some more stuff this morning about how I'm gonna park all, all them cars in, in that driveway. Yeah. I said, all right, Lord. Whatever. I'm gonna do what you say to do. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 29, verse 10. Let's, 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 let's look at this again. You gotta hear God today. You gotta hear God today. Amen. Because, see, he's showing me something he ain't never showed me. 
It's my favorite scripture. He ain't never. Y'all need to hear me today. Hallelujah. Verse 10 says. But thus says the Lord that after 70 years be accomplished in Babylon, I will what? Visit you. Oh my God. After you've been in captivity, locked up for 70 years, I'm going to visit you. Amen. Amen. And what? Perform my good word towards you. In causing you to return to this place, I'm going to bring you back from the place I sent you from. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will what? Hearken unto you. Hearken means to hear and do. I hear you and I'm going to do what you need to get done. Amen. And ye shall what? Seek me and what? Find me. And ye shall search for me with, with what? All your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. And I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations I sent you to. And from all the places where I have driven you, said the Lord. And I will what? Bring you back. Yes, Lord. Again, into the place from which I called you to be carried away captive. Ooh, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Here we go, y'all. Mm -mm. You got to hear me today. You got to hear God. And you got to hear him from where you at. Amen. First, we got to understand what we read mm. and what's going on here. Amen. God sent his people into captivity because they disobeyed God. Mm. Even after many repeated warnings, they still disobey God. And God is telling Jeremiah to tell the people that after 70 years of captivity, He's bringing them out. Amen. Amen. Now, hear me, hear me this. Mm -hmm. They disobeyed God. Over and over. He warned them. Sent them a prophet. They tried to kill him. Sent them another prophet. Then they tried to kill him. Mm. Sent them another prophet. Then they tried to kill him. But the last one that came to speak to them, Jeremiah, they took Jeremiah with them in the cap. Oh, 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 you speak of God? Well, come on, go with us. <laughs> we ain't getting away. Now you hear me? The prophet was taken captive by the people in the captivity. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. My Lord. Hallelujah. Now, God is telling Jeremiah that after, after seven years of captivity, he's bringing them out. And that he has plans for them. Mm. Hear God tonight. He had a plan for before they went into captivity, but they wouldn't listen. So to hear me that so to keep them alive, yes. he sent them into captivity. Like many of us today. He keeps us alive by allowing us to go to prison. Amen. To go into situations that are not comfortable. Amen. But it gets you away. Hear me now. Yeah, you went in the captain. Yeah, you went to prison. Yeah, you had to go into an uncomfortable situation. But God got you away from those situations and, and the people that were sent to destroy you. Yes, yes. He hid you away in the captivity. Yes, yes. Yeah. He hid you away in yes. that crazy relationship. Yes, yes. But now he's coming back to get you. Yes. Glory. Ah. Glory. Hey, Glory. 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 So y'all don't understand. You thought you was in that drug abuse situation because you wanted to. No, God got you there to keep you alive. You think that relationship and all that abuse is bad. Try death. Jesus. But if you were here to God, and join him in what he is doing. Mm -hmm. Then the plans he has 
for you, the thoughts he thinks towards you, plans and thoughts of peace, plans to prosper and move you to the end that is awaiting you, that is an expected end awaiting you. Yes, he know what you're going through. Yes, it hurt. Yes, you was abused. Yes, they lied on you. But I'm showing up now to deliver you out of those situations, to bring you out and get you going on this expected place, this destination I got for you. You didn't hear me today. Stop discounting the place that ain't comfortable. Amen. Amen. All right. Stop discounting that place because it's not up to your standards. Mm -hmm. Stop discounting that relationship because it ain't all you thought it was going to be. Glory to God. God is coming alongside of you. He says that. He says, then when you call upon me, I'll hear you. Yeah. Then I'll show up right. and bring you out. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, but we have to learn to trust God even in the storm. Amen. And as God leads and guides us. And the place that we are now. Oh, y'all need to hear me today. He has resources and people yeah. that have been specifically assigned to you Jesus. and your family. Hallelujah. We must get in our word. We must get into prayer. We must find out where God is working around us and join him in what he is already at work doing around us. God's plan is at work. Amen? Close your Bibles. See, in obeying God always going to lead you to a crisis of belief. This, is this where I'm supposed to be, God? Is this the people I'm supposed to be? Is this the church? Is this the child? Is this the woman? Is this the man, oh God? But as you trust him and join him and, and allow him, his plan to manifest in your life, God will make it all work out in your life. I know it's a struggle. I know rent comes around faster than you, than you can make money. You end up with more month than you got money. But God says if you'll hold on and you'll call on my name, I'll hear you and I'll show up. Oh, when God shows up in your life, he brings all of heaven with him. All his riches, all his yeah. glory, yeah. all the money, yeah. all the healing, yeah. all the health. Yeah. Yes, Lord God. Oh, God is awesome and he's powerful. Yeah. There ain't nothing that he ain't got that you come on now. Whatever you need, he got it. Amen. Yes, There's nothing impossible with God. Amen. So I want you to hear God today that as you struggle, with your provisions, as you struggle in your blessings. Amen. See, you can't even buy no more shoes. You can't buy no more dresses. You can't buy no more suits. You can't buy no more bow ties. See, that's when you get you to the place where you, I don't care what store you go in, and you can't find nothing, you need another. God said, you done? <laughs> you done? Now, take a thousand dollars. Give it to someone so over here. Okay? And then you get a check and a mail for 10000 Amen. Wow. Then you go out trying to buy shoes. You can't find none you want. You went to every store. You got all the shoes. You got all. Come on now. You drive away for you don't need no more cars. Amen. 
You done now? It takes five thousand dollars that and go give it to so and so. Amen. Hallelujah. Now go over here and buy, go get a grocery card and fill it up and take it to so and so, so and so because she's over crying now. So you don't understand. Somebody's living by faith. She done set the table. She got pots on the stove. Oh, yeah. Her little kids standing there holding hands. Oh, thanking God for food. Oh, you rang the doorbell yeah. with 10 bags of groceries. Yeah. The kids said, Mama, prayer works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord, God. We done sat and prayed for food. Yes, and we're all with no food. Open up the front door. There's three boxes of groceries sitting on the porch. We don't know who bought them. Yeah. We're all our, all our brands and stuff. We just don't know. It was our brands and stuff. Our cereal. Our green beans. Our bologna. Our bread. Somebody know what that kids like. Because it's all in that box. Yeah. God wants to use you. To bless somebody with everything that they need, they asking for. Y'all hear me? Yes, Lord God. God's trying to get something to you so he can get it what? Through you. He'll get it to you, but can he get it through you? All right. Glory to God. Yes, Lord God. See, so you talking about going over. I'm all shocked, Conte. You talking about going on vacation this place. God saying, go this place. You don't want to go to that place. You want to go to this place. God said, now, go ahead and order the tickets then. You get over there and the flights is three times more than you going on this person. Check this over and got the discount flight. The other day, you this one more. But you, you don't understand, no. That as you go over to that place and you go for breakfast, there's some lady praying that God send me somebody. Y'all hear me? God's trying to use you. God's plan is to work all around you. Will you join him in what he's doing? Hallelujah. Let's stand to our feet in this place.